Welcome to our channel, Get Cooking Now. My name is Laddie and today we'll be sharing with you a traditional recipe that's simple and flavorful. We'll be cooking tender ivy gourd or tainly on low heat without adding any water as the vegetable will cook in its own liquid. We will use bare minimal spices to bring out the natural taste of the vegetable. But we will sprinkle fresh grated coconut at the end which will give it that authentic Goan taste. Our recipe for today is traditional Goan Tenli Bhaji. Step 1. Preparing the Tenlis Take 250 grams of tain leaves, which is also called ivy god. Wash the tain leaves properly and remove anything that is stuck to the skin. Wipe them using a clean towel or cloth. Cut the edges of the tain leaf. Cut each tain leaf lengthwise into 4 pieces. You can also cut them lengthwise into 8 pieces if you like them thinner. Do this for all the remaining tainlis. Tainli or ivy gourd is a good source of nutrients, vitamins and minerals which are essential for our body. Our tainlis are ready. Step 2. Preparing the other ingredients. Take one medium sized onion. 1 medium sized tomato, 2 green chilies and few leaves of curry patta. Slice the onion into long strips. Cut the tomato into small pieces. Adding the tomato is optional but adding it does make this vegetable taste much better. Cut the green chilies into 2 and then slit them. Wash and wipe clean the curry patta leaves. Half teaspoon of mustard seeds. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder. Quarter teaspoon of cumin or jeera powder. Three fourth teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of freshly grated coconut. Step 3 Preparing the Tainli Bhaji. On medium heat, in an open thick bottom pan, add two tablespoons of coconut oil or regular cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, add the mustard seeds and stir. When the mustard seeds start spluttering, add the sliced onion and stir. Then after a minute, add the slit green chilies, the curry leaves or curry patta. Stir nicely to prevent burning or sticking to the pan. Add the salt. Add the turmeric or haldi powder. Add the cut tain leaves or ivy gourd. Stir it nicely for 2 to 3 minutes to prevent burning or sticking to the pan. Help us spread the love for Goan cuisine. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and please share them with your friends and family so that they can also benefit from our recipes. Do comment with your feedback and suggestions to help us make our videos even more better for you. Add the cumin or jeera powder and stir it nicely. Then add the tomatoes. Mix everything nicely. Cover the pan with a flat lid having a side edge to hold water and pour the water on the lid. Reduce the heat to low and cook the vegetables without adding any water as the vegetables will cook in its own liquid. The water in the lid will prevent the steam from escaping. The heat will be evenly distributed throughout the pan because of the steam that's generated inside. The vegetables will cook evenly and properly. Also because of the moisture, the vegetables will not burn at the bottom of the pan. Cover and cook for at least 6 to 8 minutes. 
the water in the plate will start to bubble and reduce. After 6 to 8 minutes, open the lid carefully and check to see if the vegetable is getting stuck to the bottom. Cook the tainlis until they are slightly crunchy. Since it is cooked on low heat, the tainlis may take around 12 to 15 minutes or more to cook. The nutritional value of the vegetables will remain intact as we are cooking on low heat without adding water and this way the vegetables will also taste much better. Did you know that cooking vegetables on high heat with lots of water results in the loss of most of its nutritional value? Cover the lid and cook for some more time. Check in between to see if the vegetable is getting stuck. If required, add 1 or 2 tablespoons of water. Do let us know in the comments if you have ever tried cooking vegetables this way before. Check if the tain leaves are cooked but try to keep them slightly crunchy. Check for salt and add if required. Once the tain leaves are cooked, add the freshly grated coconut. Mix everything nicely. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. For further details regarding this or any of our other recipes, always refer to the description box for accurate and updated information. Do write a comment to let us know your feedback on this recipe and please press that like button if you love watching our detailed recipe videos. Our delicious Kohan Tenli Bhaji is ready. You can serve it hot with rice and curry or enjoy it with bread, chapati or roti. Check out our other interesting recipes and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.